Hey YouTube, it's Evan. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be the third installment of My Haunted House. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update on what's been going on because more activity has kind of picked up, I've noticed. As well as a lot of my YouTube subscribers and other various people from YouTube have given me a lot of really awesome advice in ways that they can potentially help in things that might alleviate the situation. And I did try all those suggestions. So once again, thank you all so much for all of your lovely comments, all your support, and I will tell you guys how it all is working out for me. So um, without further ado, the last video I think I posted about this was either last Sunday or Monday, give or take a day. Um, and as I said, a tremendous amount of activity has picked up. Um, for example, Wednesday, my hot water here took a shit for no reason um, and it wasn't even the hot water heater it was the hot water pipe underneath the hot water heater of the house so it wasn't even like the hot water heater itself just took a crap it was the hot water pipe and it completely flooded underneath my house so I've been dealing with that which is another reason why I haven't been able to upload any video throughout this past week I've been dealing with a semi flooded under the house type of deal um, my hot water heater like I said the pipe had to get a plumber out here and finding a decent plumber where I live is like pulling fucking teeth out of a camel excuse my language but it is it's really hard so I found a plumber he fixed the job it was great everything's normal um, the night that he fixed my hot water heater um, the window above my altar right here came crashing down and broke all the candles I had on my altar um, didn't really break anything else, but definitely threw crap all over the room. So that to me was kind of alarming. And I got on YouTube the next day and I had tons of comments from you guys on everything from, you know, maybe you should use a Ouija board to maybe you should um, recognize the owner of the house and recognize his death and kind of have a, like a little morning service for him. So I did take your guys', your guys suggestions and I did follow through with them. The first one I tried was the Ouija board. I personally don't have a lot of experience with the Ouija board, if you will. I mean, I've used them before. I know how to use them properly, but I just, I haven't really had, you know, that's not my main form of divination, if you will. Um, my main form of spirit communications. So, <clears throat> I meditated. I casted a circle. Um, I circled for protection of myself, but also a protection spell for my home, since it is happening within my home. And the first thing I asked is, is there any negative spirits here? And immediately it had went to no. And as I've already told you guys, I never really felt scared of the energy, if you will. I've never really felt scared or threatened by the spirit. I've always just kind of felt kind of stressed. And the reason why I feel so stressed is because I don't, I don't want the spirit to just relive his death over and over. You know, I feel stressed out that I can't help him in the way that I wish I could help him. And I'm stressed out that I can't, I couldn't help him sooner. So, like I said, I was using the Ouija board and after I asked if there any, if there is any negative spirits here and it went to no, I immediately had a feeling it was the owner of the house and his name was Bob and I asked am I speaking to Bob and it went to yes so I was like okay and immediately when it went to yes I felt kind of like a sense of pressure being released if that will like I felt like a weight off my shoulders that probably sounds really hokey and corny and stuff but I really did kind of feel like relieved so I went along with my questions um, I properly introduced myself. I said, hi, Bob. My name is Evan. I moved into your house a little over a year ago, and um, I don't feel like you and I have ever had a proper, a good and proper introduction. So here, this is who I am, and um, I talked about my husband, my little boy, for a minute. And um, I asked him some more questions. I asked, um, are you comfortable with us staying here? And it didn't move. Um, and then I also asked it, do you want us to leave? And it said no. It, he went to no. So, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head the other questions I asked. Um, I did also ask, um, is there anything I'm doing personally that you don't agree with? You know, am I, is there something that I'm doing that you personally do not, you're not okay with? 
and again it didn't move so like I said the Ouija board was very hit and miss but I did feel like I said a huge sense of relief knowing I what this spirit that is in my house is in fact the old owner and I do feel a huge relief knowing that he is not upset that we were living here so that did definitely help me now Friday fast forward a couple days to Friday I had a little morning service for him and what I did was I had a little candle I had a little cake and I had his little um, obituary clipped out of the newspaper from when he passed away and we had you know a little a little bit of some drink if you will and I just sat down I just you know I just kind of had a conversation kind of how you and I are right now you know I was just kind of like you know I'm if there's anything you know if you need help crossing on I would love to help you you know if you if there's something I can do for you that would help you within your ultimate destiny show me a positive sign let me know give me some positive affirmation and let me know in ways I can help you and you know the conversation kind of went on if you will um, later on that night I had a power a power outage um, I was in bed I was sleeping it was around midnight and I noticed my alarm clock next to my bed was flashing and you know, the TV wasn't going anymore because I have to fall asleep with the TV on and things like that. And it just, it was a power outage. So I was like, okay. And I went outside to see if anybody else on the block had a power outage. And we were the only people that had no power in our house. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, the next day, Saturday, today, if you will, um, this morning, I decided it would be best if I smudged my house and if I did a good and proper farewell to kind of help him pass on and you know I acknowledged his death and I acknowledged it was very traumatic it was very sudden and unexpected and very fast and I did I get emotional like and I was I'm kind of borderline getting emotional now you know because it was like it was as if he was standing next to me so I went about smudging my house I had some holy water I didn't know his religious preference and because of that I felt um, for some reason I was drawn to my rosary beads I have a set of rosary beads up here it's out of frame right now um, just in case I do do spell work for a lot of my Christian and Catholic friends and other people who do follow Jesus Christ and it's just respectful if you're gonna do a spell for them or help you know help them out to incorporate their religion into yours so I walk around with my sage and my rosary beads and, you know, I said, Bob, you know, now's the time to pass on. You know, you can't keep reliving your death. This is not the way, this is not the way you should, your spirit should be living. You need to pass on. You know, you need to be with your wife. You need to be with your other family members and friends who have passed on. And it will be peaceful and it will be positive and you'll see white light and it will just be very comforting, if you will. And I walked through every room. And then I walked through outside my the perimeter of my fence um, and I did the same thing with the whole property where my house is and I came back inside and it, it felt like a brand new house you know like it was really weird like it felt like a brand new house like it felt like I was walking into it for the first time and like I said this happened earlier today so only time will tell if in fact he did fully and officially pass over I will let you guys know but yeah thank you thank you again for everybody who gave me some great suggestions on how to help the spirit of Bob pass on and to help kind of get down to the bottom of things and I really do appreciate that so yeah if you want to see what goes on next then give this video a thumbs up and I will let you know but until then I wish you all lots of light love and blessings and take care bye